welcome back to the channel, to the channel, to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a review of a foundation that I did not think I would be doing a review on. Um, this is a foundation that many other people have already done a review on. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this review for you guys. Um, so first off, I wasn't going to buy the foundation. You know, I had it set in stone in my mind that I was not going to buy this foundation, that there wasn't a shade for me. Um, after looking at all the videos online and looking at all the swatches online, I was convinced in my head that there was not a shade that would match me in this foundation. So with that being said, uh, here's how the story went. So back in October, I went to the VIP, well, actually it was the Rouge Holiday event that they had um, showing off their holiday collection. It was like a sneak peek of the holiday collection. And um, so I wanted to see what was coming out, you know, just to get a head start on everything and get, you know, move forward and get excited about the holiday season and and what was to come. So I'm walking around enjoying my merry little life at the holiday event. It was very nice, I must say. Um, they didn't have as much stuff as I thought they were going to have at my Sephora to show, um, but nonetheless, there were some good options to choose from there, um, which I will show in another video what I got at that holiday event. But um, long story short, as I turned the corner, and you know, you know when you guys turn the corner in Sephora and something pops up and you're like, oh, that's where that is. So, you know, I turned the corner in Sephora and lo and behold, there was the Beauty Blender foundation display right in front of me. And I said, oh, I can finally see if there's a B Beauty Blender foundation that matches me. Um, so I'm standing there and without hesitation, somebody that works at Sephora runs over and says, oh, um, can we do a color match for you in the foundation? And, you know, make sure you get your right shade. And, you know, with all the controversy about, you know, there not being enough shades for dark skin tones, she immediately jumped on it. There's no hesitation about getting me a color match. And she wanted to show me that this would work for me. So I said, sure, why not? So I was, you know, putting swatches on my hand. Um, and the first one I put on, you know, looked good on my hand and I said, oh, okay, this might actually work. And then, you know, I did the one above and the one below and then they were too light and too dark. So we decided to sit in the beauty studio chair and she applied it to me. I do have vlog of that, um, not of her applying it to me, but after the event, they, for some reason they said I couldn't, um, videotape at the event. So I respected their wishes, um, and did not videotape that, but, um, I have after the fact when she applied it to me. It looked a little light, but I knew going forward that my tan would lighten up and that it would become a better match. Um, so with that being said, I am going to review this foundation for you. And the reason I'm gonna review it is because I am normally in between shades. So I'm normally, uh, for example, everybody always goes by like the Mac shade. I'm always in between Mac 40 MC NC 45 and NC 50. And it's always been that way. And with every brand I try, usually I'm in between shades, except for a few, which I can do another video on the colors that actually do match me. Um, but it's always I've always had the mixed shades and it's always been an issue. So this is nothing new to me. Um, doesn't make it right. But I want to review this foundation because it's an amazing formula and I think they should make more shades and I think when they do make more shades that this will be officially an amazing foundation for everyone to try so that's why we're reviewing this and hopefully there will be more to come um, I have not heard if there will or will not be so I'm not gonna go ahead and put that rumor out there but with that being said this is the box it comes in the shade I am in, surprisingly, and I say surprisingly because I did not think there would be a match for me. So the shade I'm in is 
and this is what the package comes with. Very pretty packaging. You can use it as a palette for your, you know, when you dip your beauty blender in it. It has the mechanism. We've seen this in many other reviews to uh, keep it shut. So if you're traveling, it will not, you know, press down and squirt out. Um, beautiful bottle, which feels like glass, but may be fancy plastic. Yep. And you get one fluid ounce with this foundation. Let's read the claims so we can keep this a legit review. This weightless, buildable, whipped liquid can be layered from medium to maximum coverage to address both tone and texture. Never dull or greasy skin gets that pro artist velveteen finish that looks picture perfect IRL and on screen. In real life and on screen. It's full coverage, velveteen finish, moisture boosting hyaluronic acid, and there's also antioxidant rich white birch extract. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna kinda get in close here. My hair out the way. And I am gonna try one side with a beauty blender. So I brought my brand new beauty blenders out to try. And I'm gonna use, on the other side, I'm gonna use this. I do not have any primer on because I wanted to focus on the foundation today. So no primer today. And now with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and we might as well apply it with the brush first. So we're gonna unlock it. We're going to pump it out. They say to tilt it at a 45 degree angle. And everybody has mentioned that this can get dirty inside, this, the mechanics of it. Um, that will not bother me so much, you know, but I can see room for improvement with that. And we're gonna go ahead and squirt some out. I'm not gonna use a lot today. I'm not really doing anything fancy today. Um, so we're just going to put on one layer of this and see how it goes. I have my mirror here, so bear with me. And when I tried this on, it was a little light, but now that um, I've lightened up a little bit, it's actually a really good match right now. It feels cooling when I first apply it. I already need another pump, I see. cooling when you apply it. It's a very nice touch. And I will be using my regular concealer with this. I will not be doing any dramatic highlighting or contouring today. Well, actually, maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. Because I do have an eyeshadow palette I want to try in addition to this foundation. So maybe I'll do a first and well, this might be a second impression with that palette, but maybe I'll apply that as well. Okay, now I just need to wet one of these beauty blenders. I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, I'm back. I have my damp beauty blender. As you can see, it's trying to expand. So we're gonna have patience with it and let it do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pump some more out for the other side. And while I'm applying this, we might as well have a little chit chat. Um, I wanna get back into doing more YouTube videos more frequently and eventually getting some better camera equipment. So, um, with that being said, I would love your support. If you guys could subscribe and hit the notification button, I would be so grateful, um, just so I can work on improving my 
YouTube skills, you know? One day we'll look back at this video and we'll say, holy crap, this was some shitty-ass quality. And look at the videos now, they're amazing. So I do have YouTube goals, and I know I'm not perfect, I'm not the best. Um, but with that being said, I would like to improve these videos, and I, with that, and I, I need your support to help me do that. So if you guys could support me and subscribe, notification button, like, comment, I'd love to interact with you guys, um, start a community, meet some new friends, and it would mean a lot to me, because this is, you know, this is something I want to do. Um, hopefully and eventually full time you know but for now you know you gotta start somewhere so that's that love you guys love you lots all right so we have the foundation on let's see if we can do this blog style this lighting is crazy not the best lighting but I'm going to flip the camera around, see if we can get some better footage that way. Okay, guys, here's another view of my face. I am using natural lighting where I'm sitting, so the lighting keeps changing. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my face, and then I will be back, and I'll do a few check-ins. And, um, yeah, so we'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. This is my final look with the foundation on. I think it looks really good on camera. And like they said, and in person. It looks great. So I'm going to leave this on for a little bit. And, um... Also come back and give you my review of wearing it out and about and things like that. So stay tuned. I'm also going to flip this camera around and see if we can get a better quality view of the foundation. Okay, guys, I just wanted to flip my camera around just so you could see what it's looking like up close and personal. Okay, so we're going to give this a couple hours of wear, um, also going to give some time to go out, you know, wear it out, special occasions, things like that, and by the time I come back, we will have an official thorough review. Stay tuned.